Have a, okay, we have the uh, mayor of Natchez on the phone right now. Hello, Mr. Mayor, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, sir. All right, uh, so tell us what's going on down there. Uh, mayor Daryl Grinnell in Natchez. Uh, what's going on down there in Natchez this morning? Well, um, we had a lot of uh, damage to occur in certain concentrated areas here in Natchez, Adams County, uh, the Galesta area. Uh, we actually have a lot of trees down, and actually we had a, a roof on a house to collapse. Fortunately, the family went in the basement, and they were all rescued. Um, we also, in the Morgantown area, uh, we had a, a tree to fall on the house. Uh, I spoke to the sheriff a little while ago. One of his deputies actually went into the roof to uh, rescue a 14-year-old child. Um, on Magnolia Street in the Morgantown area, we had a tree to fall on a house, and it barely missed uh, the gentleman that was living in the house. Uh, I think basically one of his fingers uh, was damaged as a result of that tree, so thank goodness uh, he wasn't severely injured. Uh, we've got a lot of trees down in our Rose Lawn area, and when I spoke to the sheriff outside the city limits in the county, uh, especially in the Kingston area, there are a lot of trees down. Uh, so we've got over a thousand citizens inside the city limits without power. Uh, I don't know exactly outside of the city limits in the county, completely countywide, how many power outages there are because there are different providers uh, besides Entergy. Uh, that provides power outside the city limits, such as Southwest uh, Power, et cetera. So we we won't really know the complete damage until we, you know, get some sunlight to come in to the area to do an assessment uh, completely uh, countywide. Uh, but, of course, uh, according to our E911 uh, director, Robert Bradford, a tornado did hit this area. Uh, but, of course, uh, that... We won't know the uh, the strength of that event until, of course, National Weather comes in and uh, do their assessments. Uh, uh, Mayor Grinnell, uh, do you know of, of schools in Adams County and Natchez? Are they opening today, or are they delayed, or are they closed? Do you know that information? I have not received any word from the school district at this okay. point uh, whether or not the schools will be open. But I do know that there are some streets that we need to avoid because of down power lines. Uh, especially in the Gayosa area, in the Morgantown area, Rose Lawn, in the Kingston area. Those are the areas, from what I understand, when I went to the uh, storm shelter this morning, those are the heavily damaged areas in Natchez Adams County. Okay, well, uh, Mayor Grinnell, thank you so much for being on the phone with us this early in the morning. And uh, uh, I know it's going to be a busy day down there cleaning up. Uh, so thank you for taking time out to talk to us this morning. Yeah, we've got our uh, the city of Manchester's public work. Their uh, road crews out, Adams County road crews. We've got volunteer firefighters out. We've got search and rescue. I mean, everybody's out working this morning. So I want to just thank all of those volunteers and the employees for, you know, being on task this morning. Definitely. It's going to be a long day for a lot of cities around here cleaning up. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much, and, uh, and uh, keep us updated if anything else happens, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you okay. so much.